Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whichever the case may be for you in particular. Back to Minecraft. Hello! Well, welcome aboard. We're just doing Stardew Valley map because we, we did part of it uh, last stream, the last time we did this, but I did a little bit more work in between the time that we last left off from now. Where am I? I'm from the United States, if you're asking what country I'm from. I'm a States girl. Um, I did flatten most of this. If any of you watching remembers, like, how it was when we left off, this entire part was, uh, basically a mountaintop. So... I flattened that entire thing down. This was all ocean up to this point, so this got filled in. It was a top layer, but it was still technically filled in. I also started putting a border around as well, because in the game, there's borders to it. It's not an open world like Minecraft is. So basically when... I mean, I'm going to put a spawner, I think, right at the farm. So basically when you explore this map it's gonna be kind of like the game where you have borders to it so that's the that's gonna be the key here for reference i did put the little i found a little campfire and i put down there to put it down there because i remember there was a little campfire spot over by elliot's place but i did get a lot of this planned out <laughs> no worries at all i think you're doing pretty good no worries no worries at all all is well. So I need to make the lake a bit bigger. I tried doing this as close to sides as I could for the river going through. I almost feel like it needs to go a little bit bigger, but I'm not 100% sure. I know like at about this point, it also goes up in elevation and it creates its own wall. And there's also a bunch of trees that are basically the entire section of this. So the trees need to be filled in as well. So, and I don't know if you remember this also, but this was much longer. Like it extended from here and went all the way to about this point. I shortened that down. So I scooted a lot of this stuff down to better represent the length of this little road part. Because it was way too long. It, it wasn't more representative of what was going on. But doing so allowed me to make Clint's place a little bit bigger. Because he does have a little bit of space, stuff in his house. And it also allowed me to extend the museum. So right about here is where there's that fenced off area with some trees inside that we can't really access. So that's where that's going to go. And what it also did is it allowed me to push back Lewis's house in the graveyard. Which allowed me to give the space needed to, instead of doing the trailer for Penny and Pam, doing the house. So I'm actually super excited that I was able to get that all scooted over without having to really alter the river at all. Oh, also I filled in a bunch, like, the water to it also to make it a little bit easier to see. The sewer I got a little bit better as well. So, basically i just been working on getting things more properly to scale and it has been a little bit of a challenge i think really one of the last things i need to do is the lake and flattening out um the wizard's place but he's on a little bit of a hill and so what i'm actually gonna do is have stardew valley running on my laptop on the left just so i can reference exactly where these hills are there are because there are a few like if we remember past Pierre's place there is a wall there and it goes up and so I need a reference it to know where continue launch um so I need a reference where back behind the movie theater or during the movie theater not the Jojo Mart like where the wall starts where it stops because uh we can technically I don't remember how far back we can go and so, that's also going to have to be figured out. So, I was almost thinking that right now, we can start putting in some of the roads. And that will help us dramatically. I'm not 100% sure when we'll start doing 
the buildings yet. We will do them. I just don't know when. So I am going to load up my my testing game on here. Okay, so I'm at the beach. So it's it's all sand until we get to about halfway, I would say. And then it turns into dirt. So if we change this to sand until about the halfway mark, I'll, I'll consider it there. And then if we turn this into... It shows it as a dirt path, but we'll make this into actual pathways. And then the and then it's just a straight bridge. And there's no like stairs up to the bridge or anything. It's just straight up. So we'll gather. I guess it really doesn't matter what shovel we use. Get that. We don't need that anymore. And the the bridge is definitely a like a stone on the side like a um stone brick like this on the side and it's like cobblestone but it's darker and more round like i know round doesn't really exist in minecraft per se but if we can at least get close like this black stone is looks actually relatively close to be honest so let's try that we'll turn this into that yeah that's actually pretty close to be honest <laughs> that's actually really close that might be a little bit darker than what the game probably had intended but like is this super thin or is this like definitely a block it lo definitely looks like a full-on block size so we're gonna replace that with this and it does extend over tiny bit so let's grab i guess i didn't really need to do that but that and that and remove all this Get our border back actually no 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 we want to do this and keep our trail the same size like so And then we'll switch this out. Or this. Okay, it's not bad, not bad. Like, this is pretty dang close. There is a single light pole on the each end on this far side right here. So, I'm not sure how we'll actually end up... Sorry, on this side. This side is where the light poles are. How far... Over, it's like right, right immediately, yeah. So it's like right at the water's lines where this ends. So and it continues to be dirt after that too. So we're gonna put this down, turn this into trail like stuff, and then remove our border here. So the I wonder if we should do all that decoration stuff last. I'm just gonna make the actual trail right now and then we'll do the other stuff later and I'm gonna make actually I don't need to do that I could just in this I'll make that a little bit bigger yeah that should, that should be good but it's not a big path it is not a big path at all so we'll continue it like this and it it's like basically all like a quote-unquote dirt path all the way until at what point? At what point does this not turn into a dirt path? Um, all the way to that bridge it is. And you can't tell because of the way this is, like exactly. So it turns into like a cobbled pathway once we get past the sewer and in front of the girl's house. So We'll continue doing this until we get there then. It's actually been kind of fun having all the, the zombies and mobs in here. It's like, it's, they're keeping me company. Do this. And they're all... My friends are dying! Nice, come on. Pull yourselves together. This is no time for death. And here... This is going to be about so. 
Well, we, we can always thin this out, too, because some of this trail is actually relatively thin. It's not this big, so we might need to thin it out at some point. And my friend just died. What the heck? And it's the same... I believe it's the same exact type as the first bridge, where it's got that darker... Yeah, it's the exact same thing. Only this time we can see... We can actually see that it is, in fact, arched in the center. So that is a main difference right there. It's also a bit longer, it looks like. Come on, put down. There we go. But it is also still straight ahead. And still uses these. Oh, so the skeleton's just chilling down there. There. Can't get rid of that because I want to. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Maybe I'll need to put another water bucket right here, though. There we go. That way it doesn't have any issues. So there is that. And there's no lights on either of these two. And technically it does show it going downward. So with that being said, I should actually be putting... The steps down. Where are they? There they are. That down. Nope, nope. Wrong way. Wrong way. There we go. So I should be doing it like that. And get rid of this. Oops. My bad. Sorry, dude. There we go. Yeah, simply because it does show it as a curvature downward instead on both sides so where do i ha i have that up like that i'll have this like that then and then this continues oops like that i wonder if it's considered decoration if we do the art i see this isn't really big enough to do an archway so i think this actually needs to be opened up more yeah, I'm starting to think that this part of the river actually needs to be wider. Because it looks like it thins out once it goes up a little bit. Because it actually should be curving a little bit this way. And then go out. So, we might have to redo this part of the river. Right now, I am going to leave it. And we'll focus on the roads right now. But we will come back to that. So that I can fix that too. So, let's keep going then. Get rid of that. And put these down. Oh, that was already grass. Couldn't tell between that and the granite. Get rid of that. Stone. Stone. Lots of stone. I mean, it was helpful for the markers earlier, so I can't really say too much. And plus, this whole area used to be a mountain. Like a really, well, not, I wouldn't call it a mountain. I would call it a very large hill, though. So it's, uh, it makes sense that there was actually stone here. <laughs> so let's also continue this way. And do this, just so I don't actually lose the pathway on accident. Hello, flower. Sorry. Sorry, little flower. Get rid of all the grass. Grass is not needed right now. And so where does this even end? Like it goes also the ice cream shop behind us too. So this ends almost practically right at the front door to the museum, which is actually closer to this area. So we're actually going to do that. Get rid of all this. Get rid of all that. None of this is needed. Go up like that. Get rid of this. And then it's just straight up. It's technically curves a little bit. And it... Oh my gosh, I keep pressing the volume button instead of the escape button. Because I don't want my time on here to run out since I'm trying to use this as reference. <laughs> so this does go up. 
And it does stop a little bit before Clint's front door. So. About there or so, right? Yeah. Ish. Ish. And then it's basically a neat cobblestone from his front door, which is about here-ish. So it's like a... I would say it's the same material as the bridge, actually. And it looks like it's a one block. And it goes down here by about a couple more. I'll say one or two more. It goes up on a second. Oops. And then it continues down a little mr chicken you are in the way there we go thank you and it goes to about there or so and then the cart actually gets put right about oops right about here right at the edge and then it goes up a little bit and over into the wall. So not quite there. I was close, but not quite. So that's, in a nutshell, his layout. It's technically, it thins out, like, right like there. So that's about Clint's area. Again, this is... I wouldn't consider this, like, as crude of rough drafting as we had done earlier. This is probably a, the next step of rough drafting, though. Because there are definitely going to be some errors that are going to be made that's going to have to be fixed as we continue. Okay. And now for this area to Lewis's house. It is still... Oops, nope, that is wrong. It is still... Still dirt, and I really wish I could fly in this game like I can in Minecraft, so I can just get from one point to another really quickly. There is technically some dirt pathways all the way around to, um, around the river. Okay, so. It goes up. Ooh, so this actually, there is technically a little bit of a pathway up beside Lewis's house, too. So this curves more. This is less curving than I actually have it at in the first place. So this is more like this. Oops. No, that's not right too, but hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. This is more like, let me redo this part. If that's the front door, his front door is actually closer to this side than anything so basically what i'm gonna do is if, if it kind of comes straight down like this and then like so and then it goes uh actually i'm gonna make it one more over because there is some pots and garbage cans right here and there is a fence on this side so i want to make it even and it goes up like so until the top here and then it goes inward and it's very thin it's a very thin road so it's just going to be a one wide right now and there is technically so if we go up from and it's straight up from the from the bridge too so technically it loses house should be over more than this if we're looking at it from there so so yeah bridge bridge pathway continues going up Ooh, that means we're going to have to push everything over then, too. Because that technically goes up, and then it goes over 
and up to Lewis's house. So, what we may have to do is push this over just a little bit because of that. Or, eh, right now, we'll leave this area and come back to it. The mistakes we'll come back to when we're trying to make this a little bit more detail oriented. <laughs> so let's get back over here. In here. So I am going to at the very least make this go straight down as reference. That it does do that instead. Because there is this little baby like bush that's like right in front of Lewis's house that the road kind of dips around because of that. So we'll have to put that in as well. But for now, let's get this out of the way. And replace this with our dirt. Or technically our grass. And continue this. I wonder if I need to push everything down a little bit further again then. I really wouldn't be surprised if I have to, like, push... Yeah, like, bring everything down a few more blocks worth. I brought everything down about six blocks or so yesterday. And that didn't really take that much time, too. So it's really not that big of a deal. It's just making sure that I'm trying to get everything lined up correctly again. Is probably the hardest part about the whole thing. So let's go all the way around. And then I will take off our training wheel borders. This and that. But I think I got the sewer part pretty good. I spent some time on that, but I, I, I'm I, sure it needs some more adjustment at some point. I know it's not actually perfect yet. Oh, we have another like occupational zombie. Cool. Uh, I've never really seen those, so those were kind of fun for me. This and this. Those are all dirt already, so you will already turn into grass. I don't need to fix you. There we go. And you'll definitely need... Oh, there's grass wool underneath that, but... Oh, well. Same here, too. Oh, yeah, because um, these were already layered differently, so I had to put... just I just put them on top just to save some time when I was redoing some of this area. Okay. And then, I believe, if we go back to the sewer area, it's basically just an opening. Like a sing it oops. It's a single layer opening. And it goes around the sewer stuff. Like that. It technically goes up a little bit more, though. So, let's do that. It's going to be a little bit smaller of an area, too, though. So, let me... Because the sewer definitely is not that big. It is much smaller than that big old box we had. So, let's go up a little bit more. I'm just going to turn this all into grass to make it easier for us. So, the sewer itself is, like... I don't know, like... It's more of like a 2x2 two two size on here, but we don't really have anything that's going to be an easy 2x2 two two thing. So, I either do a single block, or eh, maybe we'll just do a single block for now. Like that. And everything else around it is just uh, some fencing and trees and some bushes. And maybe a rock or two. But that's basically it for the sewer area. It's pretty pretty standard basic. Which is lucky for us. So it's less uh less stuff we need to mess with for it. So that will fill itself in with grass as time goes. And now for continuing. So this is about where let me go back into the game. This is about where it turns into. Ooh, so yeah, so. 
technically there's no road right here. It just it's straight cobble of some sort. Let's figure out what I'm I think cobblestone honestly is just the closest to that. Let me let's look for just a second more. Just to see, because it looks like it's just the same as Blackstone. It's just Blackstone is a lot darker. And that's really the only difference. Could use block of raw iron. That's... Eh, it's not gray enough, though. Let's see if we can find something else. Because I mean, I'm thinking about, like, adding a texture pack to this at the very end. Just to kind of see what it will look like afterwards. Because I'm kind of excited for that. Now, a lot of these are, like, the same kind of thing. Ooh, this... No, it's a little too dark though it's like this kind of it's like stone kind of color but that's more round that's getting close what else can we use that we currently have on here um yeah a lot of these are basically the same exact type of block they're just recolored oh that's pretty dang close actually the red, the dead brain coral block. It's kind of demented, but that is actually really, really close. How's that look? That was hard to tell in nighttime, but let's see. Ooh, this is actually really coral. coral uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If I can talk, really, really close. So yeah, I think I'm actually gonna use that. So this actually needs to get replaced with this I'm trying to say like how does it sound when i walk on it it doesn't have that same like tip tap sound but it's fine and this is a bigger road it's like an actual road road so i am gonna make this a three wide so there isn't actually anything on this side it's all grass there is like a little small trail along the edge is some dirt on the edge there, but ultimately, there is nothing there. There's some part on the top, but that's it. Like, it's, like, basically, this is just to this little area here. Like, along the, the water is the supposed area where this connects to so if that's the case then this all needs to be removed where does this end at too so i need to go back and see where this exactly ends at let's get this in here in here Okay. Yes, there's nothing here. Nothing here. So uh, when I did the full outline, I was basing this off of the map too. And according to the map, it looked like this had like a rounded uh, road or something around going around the entirety of it. But I must have misread the map. So this technically goes all the way down to here. So I think we can actually scoot this down. If we wanted to. So if we want to scoot this down like. Oops no. I should have kept that little block. Just so I can. Quickly tap it. So we'll do that. Right about there should be. Nope. Oh well okay. Yellow come back. We need you. Get rid of the magenta for now. There. So. That, and it's more, it's more of a straight path going up that way too, so, if we want, we, it does go straight through there, and remove this, remove that, remove this, and so it is, it just goes straight past this orange part, the graveyard. And goes up along the side of it and straight over. Okay. So let's fix that as well. So there's no curving right here. It's just straight path. Straight path. 
And it's not a very big path either. So, oops. Just do that. And... This is like a square square. It's not even a circle. So... Here and here. And here. And then we'll make this like that. There, that's... That's better representing that whole thing. We'll put more curves and everything as we go along too, but for what it is right now is it is good. It is good. And put in more of our dead brain coral. This is so wrong. This feels so wrong. And how far I believe this goes all the way until we reach the the border of the town going towards Marnie's place. And then this stops, if I recall correctly. Let's go check it out. Where do you end? You end right basically at the doorway of Sam's house. So let's keep on going, keep on going. Because this is Sam's house right here. So this ends basically right there. And then it turns into basically a, a single... trail like this that goes up and then down and then all around kind of like that actually there is technically a gap between the two so do that but that's essentially kind of what that looks like and then there's more trail along the edge there oh so the turtles returned oh cool so that's fine as it is. Get rid of our border here and our border there. No, we don't want this, so we're gonna return that. Get away, blue. And there is like a trail, I believe, between these two houses. Yeah, there's a trail beside it, so we'll have to fix that as well here there so this trail starts in front of Sam's house and goes all the way around let's do a full it looks like there's a full circle around the entirety of the house so this needs to all go away so what we'll do is we'll do that. And that. So this goes all the way around it. Oh, it's letting me do that even to dirt. I didn't need to turn that to grass first, like I do normally in the game. I mean, okay. All the way around. All the way around. Oops. Can I click on it again? No, okay. There. Keep going. Okay. And... The trail does not technically go all the way... Up. Like the map also shows. It basically... Starts again elsewhere, like in the uh, that little park area, right up north of their house. Now, as I say, I don't remember there being like a trail trail going all the way up, but it looked like the map had shown that, so that's why we outlined it as such. Well, regardless, though, it's uh, it's all good. That's the beauty of Minecraft Creative. We can fix things. And then this goes all the way up to the the town square. Let's see, how big is this road? It's a 2x2, two two, okay. And also, I know that we have it as a circle right now. The map shows it as 
an actual circle, not as the square, so... Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Well, regardless, we will fix that as well. That's not a big deal. Because we're going to try to be as accurate as we can with this whole thing. So all is good. Here. Here. And then this goes all the way to... Where does this go to? I don't think this is... Oh no, this is a, um, the same material. All the way to the length of the graveyard, which is right there. Which is kind of concerning since most of our entire, like, drafting is made of wool. So, <laughs> I did, um, put the command on for fire not to spread, though. So, let's see if I... One, did that correctly, and two, if it saves that command per games, because I haven't done it this particular, uh, as we, as I loaded up the game again today, but I've done it for the other loads, so. So let's see if that saves between or not. And here. And get rid of all this. So yeah, this is all going to need to be fixed and technically there is right above the graveyard that little bench area so let's make sure we put that in where exactly is that okay that's about here or so and it's just how big is that just a two by I'll do, it looks like an actual square, so we'll put it in like that. Okay, so we currently have a circle, but we don't need the circle. It's more of a square. So, it does go up like that. Oh, I missed a block. Now, this doesn't act like go away, go away, does it? There we go. Okay. And so it kind of goes out like that. And then it goes into a straight, straight square piece like this. Is it straight all the way up? Kind of. Kind of does that. Go up like this, and like this, and it has a small little divot towards this part. So basically, when it comes down here to hook up with all of this. Let's just put this in like now. Comes in like that. And then comes back out. So technically it does have a little bit. So I am going to extend this to reflect that. And we can get rid of all the other stone here. Here and here. And there are some light poles around here too. We'll add those in just like we do for the bridge. And fill this all in. This whole thing's going to have to be filled in, but... Once I'm done with this, I want to get back to actually bordering it first. I don't want to get too far. Okay, and then it goes, replace these, so we don't get confused. 
So that's up to about there. And then here, it's basically a straight shot also. So, over. It, it is longer than the other one was too. Oops, my bad. So about there so. And then go straight up. And this is where the trail to the startup saloon is. That's... Oops, one too many. And there. Is there, is there any divots in here? It does technically go off to meet up with here stuff so right about the edge of it is where so this is like a one block there and then it's two here actually goes down a little bit more than that maybe even three like that Like that as well. And it keeps going and then it goes up from there. I have little borders, please. And so we'll go straight, oops, straight up from there. Like that. Ah! It too much. Hello, my friends. You returned for the night, I see. And connect this. Get rid of that. Get rid of this. And that. And that. So this technically, I think, is... Closer to a two. And then it goes up. Beside up to the stairs right here. So those stairs technically need to be moved over then. If that's the case as well. Because it's basically along the side of Pierre's house that that is. So. How wide do I have to set it too wide? So I'll do that right now then. Because this is... Yeah, let's go all the way to the stairs. Or... Red Dead Brain Core, or whatever we want to call it at this point. Like that. And so those stairs are going to be moved over here. Is what I'm sensing here. Like that. So all that can be scooted over as well. Yep. That's closer to how that actually is. And there is. There is the trail. To the bridge. Right along the side. So that part is fine. So that's, oops, goes like this, all this grass, this goes all the way over here, so yeah, that needs to be scooted over, so... Get rid of all this. And this. Yep, get rid of that, get rid of that. Because all this is on an upper level. Oh, those guys are back, cool. So. How. 
far is this? Okay. See, what we could do... Is just kind of leave this, but what I will actually probably end up doing is just extending the Mueller's house instead. So this can all go away as well since we have our little road down. Go away, go away. This can go away, but that's a bridge and we haven't done the bridge yet, so that stays. So yeah, I think I'll just extend the Mueller's house over a bit. Maybe look at all these deep ravine stuff. Since this is no longer accurate. So this can go. This can go. Yeah, so... Because it's not that much space between the two. But they have a big internal house. So... I will extend their house then. Like that. Ah, almost fell down. Not that it really matters when I'm creative. <laughs> and this. And in front of their house, so going down from here. No, I'm hitting too much. So going down about here then is trail technically to their house. So this goes up and around. Because that should be about equal with the entrance to their house. Yeah, it's hard when some games, like, the internals of it are bigger than the outside shows. Because this should be down there. Up there. I guess what we could do is we could just shorten it, even though we made it longer. We could just make it shorter this way instead. Yep, I don't need this anymore. I know whose house this is. So, we'll do that. And their front door is kind of over here. And then the doggy house is right down here. So, this will be... Going down and around. And... This also goes down and around. And down here where it links up with the road. Well, it doesn't really link up per se. It's more of like a, a block or so difference. But regardless, it does extend... Let's finish this part up, just to make that easier to see. Remove all this, remove all that. Get rid of all this. And it stops at the front door. So, this tra trail type now ends. So get rid of that. And rid of that. So... This then gets extended like that. Mr. Skeleton, can I help you? And this goes down a bit. This kind of gets filled in also. Um, that's Kind of like that, I guess. It's getting so dark on this actual game now, it's kind of hard to see. So, technically, this part is right next to the bench, but because everything's a little elongated to fit internals, and that's getting a little difficult to do. And... 
Ooh, it's getting really hard to see this game now because of how dark it is. It's like 11 p.m. on this game, so... It is getting difficult. Get rid of this. The doghouse will not be probably this big, per se. It'll probably be a bit smaller. But I will also move it around to about there. And this goes down then. Technically, it does not connect with this side at all. There's no connection point whatsoever. It does go open and big, though, into... I am actually going to go up a little bit because it is shown to be closer to the dog's side. And I'll remove that. And it's basically a big open area for Pam and Penny's area. But we'll get rid of this because I don't need that. It's going to be about here-ish though, so I will mark this down. They can always make this bigger or smaller too. Um, this will be like the dead space needed to help mark out so this goes all the way down to Lewis's house, which it basically is. Let's fill this all in. I'm kind of curious more how we'll decorate this area, because there's like stuff like beer and bottle cans and stuff like that. So. Hello! Sorry, I did not see. I need to move my mic over a little bit. I cannot see this chat. Hello, Law. And do this, and do that. But it's basically right at her house, right? Kinda. So there is a little bit of grass between the Mueller's and their place. So this is mainly all like that. It does go around to being like a trailish area along the riverside and there is a bit of grass between there ah. <laughs> hi plain dad and yeah it goes it's just basically a small trail all the way up to the Mueller's so that's the Mueller's place, and that means... Ooh, technically, I think they need to be up there. Nah, I think it's actually fine. So basically, if we have it start going down... Like that... Ah, I keep hitting the wrong thing. And here, and here... And we'll go here... And of Penny and Pam's house. But unfortunately, because of the size of everything, that's not that easy to do. So we're going to have to replicate as best we can until we figure out how we want to actually do that. So it'll be like this for now. Remember, this is still rough draft. We're still drafting. It's all draft still. But this game much closer than what we had earlier already. So we're making great progress. And this can continue also. Get rid of all this, get rid of all that. Basically, I'm just going to let my person pass out on this game so that we have a fresh day to work with. I don't even think I've gone past day one on this game on my testing uh, profile. And here, since I have access to 
most things on the testing. I'll, I'll use my actual account that we've been working on. I'll use that for the stuff that I can't access on a brand new game quite yet. So, that, well, I'll do that later, though. It's not like that needs to be done right now, right? Because we're not even close to finishing even the basics. So here. Here. That. And there. And there. And this part does go up at some point as well. I'm just not sure where exactly that goes up. So we'll have to figure that out. So this actually, this part needs to be scooted over. Where does it get scooted over to, though? Um. Let's. Yeah, because it basically just goes straight up from here. So it might be over too far then. Yeah, we might be over too far. So let's close these up and we'll do these instead. Because that way it shortens this length too, because I think this is too long as it is right now. And that way our little field area over here will be more accurately done too. So it all comes together at some point. Get rid of all this, get rid of all that. And this. Get rid of all that. There we go. And that way it just goes straight up and connects with that. And we'll refill in this. Because we're not barbarians here. Here. So yeah, this goes straight up then. It's not that big of a turn though. It's not this sharp. But it's to go along the size of Harvey's place. Which is already has a big internals, and so we kind of have to make that longer. And so this goes over, and then this goes up at some point. So I do have this marked out for up for when we can get to that. Because I want to finish getting this side down first before we start going up. Because if we don't have this area all marked out correctly, that whole area is going to be all messed up. And there. Well, it's getting there. It's definitely getting there. Oh, missed one. And created one. Um. Yeah, we're getting closer, getting closer. Still have this whole area to do and the farm area to do. That's technically on the lower levels. So I believe that this whole section ends. Yeah, so basically the moment we transition, this part ends. So it's at the very edge of this is when it, our brain coral ends. It's going to be about there and then it turns into dirt all the way down and I'm sure if you play the game you'll be aware that it is kind of a longer road down oh my gosh we're trying to get rid of this grass is creating potholes everywhere yeah that still needs to be equaled out too I haven't planned that area out yet so this goes up and this goes up isn't this... Doesn't this go to... Yeah, this is a trail all the way up. So, this needs to be found out also. Like so. 
Get this all planned out, planned out. At least for our purposes of this immediate time. Here and here. And here. And we'll do just another layer right here and then that should be fine for our purposes of this exact moment. And last piece. Okay, cool. So this is all a dirt path. It's technically a wiggly worm going down here. But again, purposes, it's going to be like this for now. For our, excuse me, our drafting of this area. And this, I believe there is like some sort of little baby trail right there. We'll need to, oops, get that taken care of as well. All these filled in, get this filled in. And don't worry, I've had a talk with the Endermen. They promise they will not steal my blocks for the immediate future. We have a very ongoing treaty right now. They don't mess with my stuff, and I don't mess with their stuff. It's very simple. And this goes all the way dirt until our farm, which is about... going to be about here, so... Let's just equal this out so we're not falling into pits immediately. Ow, stop it. Here, and here, and here. Okay. That is good for that particular purpose. Okay, so this little trail here, I believe it's not exactly... Oh, my person's going to pass out any second now. It's 12.30 a.m. on this game. I believe they pass out at... 2? 2 o'clock two a.m.? So, it is kind of a trail, but kind of not a trail at the same time. So... It's basically an open fence line right here. And then it kind of turns into a little area from there. I don't know. It's it's some of it is kind of blocked by trees as well. But this is going to be close, at least. And this goes down. And this goes down. It looks like into... A single road. And then it kind of goes down into a... Horseshoe. Well, it's, there she goes. She passed out. My poor person. And then it goes down into a horseshoe-like design down like this. Sort of. Something like that. A little, like a lopsided thing than that. So let's go like that, maybe? And then it's like that almost. It's something to that effect is essentially what it is. It's kind of a weird design, but it is what it is in the game, right? And then also behind the girl's house, there is a patch of dirt as well. So let's do that. It's like a, it's almost a square patch of dirt. It's something like that. So that means that this can all be removed. Get rid of this, get rid of that. And this, and that. Because there's not actually a trail here. Even though the map says there's a trail, when you actually play the game, 
there's not really a trail there. You can kind of forge a trail for yourself over there, but there's not really an actual trail trail. At least not one that I'm seeing. So what else? What else? Yeah, so this is part of the border. So basically once we get down here, uh, this will basically be bordered off too because we, ha we don't really have access to this area from this side of the game. Like we kind of do later on when you get the shortcuts, but that's... I don't know how far into the game I want to actually create this because this, the house for Penny and Pam is already pretty far into the whole thing. So that's... I'm not entirely sure how much further, like, into, like, Leo's treehouse and stuff like that. I'm not sure if we're going to actually do any of that either. Okay, so let's get down to Marnie's area and see what we can make of there. Because it is all just dirt. It is, again, like a worm. So, eh. So let's make this a two wide. And like that, like that, get rid of our border. There is a gap between those two, so that stays. Mr. Skeleton, can I help you today, or are you going to get out of my way? That's done, get rid of all this brass. And so, Marnie's place, it does extend pretty far. Like, Leah's house is not as far as the edge of her pens. Oh, look, there's Shane. Okay, and so we keep going, keep going, keep going. But again, because of internals, we have to kind of make this a little bit different. Until we can figure out exactly how small we can get with everything. And here, this needs to be... Ooh, this isn't the same height, is it? No, this part is. It's just this area. Okay, 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 we're good, we're good. I was about to panic. I was about to really panic, but no. We're good. All is well. Just put, This just part needs to be filled in. It's all good. It's all good. Here. Fill this in. And fill this in. This. If I was really smart, I probably would have made the blue the water line instead of using sand. But that's not the way I had it. I wanted something that would highly contrast with the green. And so that's why I chose a variety of colors and none of them. Blue would have probably been just overall better. But regardless, that's not what I chose. Here here. Fill this in. Voila. Okay. Panic averted. We are the best. Get rid of all that. Get rid of all this now. So... Basically, it... <sighs> So if that's Marnie's house, Marnie's house has technically get rid of get out of here, wool. Get rid of all this, get rid of all this. Get rid of that. That. Okay. So in front of Marnie's house, Marnie's house entrance is like right there. So there are, like, barrels and stuff right there, though, so I need to have it one wire. So, if we have it like that, and this basically opens up... No, I want one more. This basically opens up into another, like, field area where our entrance to our farm is. So... Open that up. 
and this means that right about here so it goes down a little bit and it opens up into another little area this can move out of my way it has a couple of odd designs on here but for our purposes it's going to be simple and this is the part where it hooks up with with this road right here. So this is part where it can be all wiggly, I suppose. Wiggly, wiggly. Continue to be wiggly. This can be wiggly, and this can be wiggly. And wiggly. Okay, so that, that works out a little bit better. And then this does loop around, kind of, sort of loops around towards, like, Leia's place, it connects more with the river than anything. Oh my goodness, Leia, I'm trying to hit the grass, not the dirt, or the, tall, the actual grass. So her front door's right here, but there's not really any pathway to it. It kind of just somewhat, this whole thing somewhat gets connected with the river. So we'll connect you. And it's right about here so. There's not like a wider area that is a little bit flatter over here. So this, this part needs to be adjusted as well. So, if I can make this part a little bit flatter. And then... Make that like this. And then this can go down with the river a little bit more too. But, if I can make this, yeah, make this part a little bit wider. That'd be great. And that does... Curly Q. A little, oh my goodness. I hate grass. I actually want to do that though. It's curly Q over here. And then it strains itself back out. Like this. So this part needs to be strained out. This will also allow me to make this little island a little bit bigger too. So that actually works out pretty well to be honest. So if I can just, yeah, just strain that out a bit. Like, maybe like that. And then go down. Like that. That should definitely help. And like this. Oops, one too many. Yeah, because I was trying to figure out, like, I knew that island was going to be way too small. I knew it was way too small. So, I was trying to figure out, like, how does it, how can it be a little bit bigger? So, we'll curve this one over. Like that. Okay. So, I think that's how we'll play this one. Make this go away. Make all of that go away. And I still have my water bucket on me. Fantastic. Fill in all the water. Fill it all in. Cool. So this island can now expand. I don't remember exactly how big this island is though. So let's check it out because we're over here anyways on the game. So it is tiny, but it's not as tiny as I currently have it. So, I'm going to extend it. Like this way. I am going to get rid of this one, though. And I'm going to get rid of that. And I'm going to make it more square, like that. So let's get rid of this. So it does go straight from, like, here to here. And it goes from... 
the bottom down. And then there's a nice little tree in the center. Okay, much better, much better. So I'll leave that alone as is. And get... Yeah, this whole thing technically is bordered, but we'll, we'll do the boring later because I don't know entirely if this is as big as we're going to get it right now. So, go up on here. And check out how big this area is because we never really finished it. It is pretty big, but how big? And it's kind of in the... A bowl shape almost or whatever shape that I guess is considered mr. sheep what are you doing to my stuff get rid of all this This doesn't need to be here and this doesn't need to be here neither does this but I'll keep some of this up here there oh hello what do you have I'm not that I'm gonna trade anything with you I'm pretty much a god, so I'm not gonna bother, but nice to have you here. Oh, there's more. Oh, I thought there was more bees. There were some bees here earlier. It was cute. And so, since this is more of a bowl shape, uh, I think, actually, if I did this, and then did, like, this. Yeah, it's kind of in a weird sense, in a bowl shape. Get like that. And I'm actually going to fill this part in a little bit. And extend this downward. Because there is some like little bushes and stuff here, so I want to make sure those go in. And then it's a straight up shot to our place from here which it looks like it's just a single lane so it's gonna just be a single lane up okay cool i don't remember if there's really any other trail trails over here though like the lake still needs to be redone on here too because the lake on here is pretty big it is not very big on this game. So, yeah, and the wizard's tower needs to be elevated as well. Okay, so let's make the lake much bigger then. So it's going to be... If it's way over there... So let's bring it over here this direction I'm just gonna roughly outline the extension of the lake for right now and then we can come back to actually shaping it the way that actually is shaped in a second this and this and this and all these All that. Cool. So this will at least make it a little bit bigger. This way. I'll have to work on, like, expanding the depth of this too. Go out more this way. Nope, I want to go out more and then come back in. So, oh, there's all the obsidian that we messed with earlier. Get rid of all this because this is no longer the new old. This is now the old border. And the pier, we'll have to relocate that as well. And now I can get rid of 
this. This will be more appropriate here. Yeah, sorry, my dude. I think your your animals are pretty much toast at this point. Long pier. Actually, I think that might be too long, so let's shorten it. That should be fine. Okay, much, much more lake size now. I'm not sure that's entirely the actual shape of the lake, but it is much more lake size now. So, as far as the wizard's tower goes... There is technically this wall. So as soon as we go over here, so this needs to be either shorn right here or this needs to be pushed in. We'll probably end up just pushing this in a little bit. So let's do that. Because, so about, yeah, about here or so. Is where it's... There was plenty of room on that side, but... It's, like, blocked right here. Or so. And so I need to... Ooh, see, that's not enough room on that side, so... This gets blocked for about a little bit. And then it goes in... Like that-ish. And then it continues up. And over. And then in the middle of that is the really, really small wizard's tower. Which is like up here. And so I'm not entirely sure how we're going to do that because he's got a lot of stuff in his tower but i don't know how to keep the same small size that this game that stardew valley shows it as being but he's a wizard though so it makes sense that his place would be able to fit more than what you would think is typically possible to do it makes all the sense in the world. I just don't know how to replicate that very well in Minecraft. So I'm going to carve out this mountain a little bit. Because it's not the biggest space between the two. But there is enough space. So if I just carve this section out. Like that. Oops. Messing up. I mean, you can imagine this is fine. Um, yeah, that, that should be enough space between the two. So it's going to be over here. Get rid of all of this. None of this is useful to us right now. Get rid of all that. All of this. All of that. We have to build this back up anyways. So it's not really... I just don't know where exactly the wizard's house is going to be. So that's why I'm just taking this down now. But hopefully we'll find a spot for it soon. So if we go back into the game. Like it is... A bit of a small entrance here and then it goes in like that so let's replicate that whole thing and it kind of opens up into this little area I'm actually going to make this stop right here. And then it goes upwards into some stairs. How high though? It looks like at least two people high. So it's two blocks for me. So that means four blocks total. Is how high it would need to be. And that's going to be like... 
right about here. So, so one, two. I'm thinking I'm just going to do three, to be honest, though. I think that should be good, height-wise. So let's square this out now. How much space is there between the two? Let's go back over here. It's not a whole heck of a lot of space. Okay. So it's more or less something... Like... I don't know. Maybe three? Yeah, I'm thinking three. Because I think even three is too much, actually. It's two. two. Go here. Here. And it does go diagonal, so... Husk groans? Oh, there's a husk here. I haven't actually seen one of those yet. You sound creepy. Go in there. Okay. Back to what we were doing. And then it's diagonal. And then it goes forward like that. Okay. So, replacing blocks right here. And there. And here. So what are exactly husks? I'm not actually even 100% with what they are. I have to look that up. Like, how do they? How are they created? That's more of what I'm curious about. So I'll go here. Put these down. And then this is where it goes up and around. So it's not even really like this big. So it's like right about there. Actually, yeah, it's about like that. Like this. And that. That. And one more high. Oops, nope. Nope. Wrong way. Okay, so it's something like that ish and it's gonna be i'm gonna make it like that's maybe but that does go down so so let's do that also and here and here Here. So something like that. Oops. Oops. My blocks are going everywhere. So it kind of opens into this small little area. I feel like this would actually be a little bit bigger, to be honest. I think that's a little too small. So I'll make it one more diagonal big and then we'll open this up and re-close it like this size yeah that should be that should be good place all this with dirt because we like our dirt and there is a little bit of the uh not pathway but you know where the the pathway we've been using for the dirt paths there is a little bit of it in front of the stairways. And then it is a wooden... Really? Can I help you, my dude? Get out of my hole. I need to fill it with dirt. There. Thank you. And so... We can put the same thing there. And it is wooden stairs. It's... Oak? No? Something like that. So it's... Like that... So, wooden stairs. 
Um, we don't really have any rickety old old wooden stairs, but it's not quite oak. It's like dark. It's spruce, maybe. I think it's closer to spruce. So, what are other stair options do we have, though? I haven't really actually looked at the full expanse of stairs. So, just to make sure we're actually using what we need to use. That's all I'm seeing up. So, yeah, it looks like it'll be spruce. My dude, you are so in my way on so many levels. Please vacate yourself. Here and here. And this is all dirt, so I kind of want to use dirt for this part. I'm, I'm thinking to use dirt for this part. Wait, really? We talked about this. And inward. And it's a complete circle, too. So that's another reason why I'm not really sure how to go about this. And here... And here. Here. So it's like this tiny little... Yeah, you know, wizard's tower. Up on top of this hill right here. So... How are we going to do that? So, this needs to be changed also. So that's got to be done. It's about like that or so. This can all go away. This can all go away. This can go away. Oh my gosh, dude. And this can go this direction. So, how is it once we're past the tower? What is What does that look like? What does this look like? There's so many weeds and stuff, but I don't have the correct controls to be able to deal with all this. So. Okay, so once we come out from the tower, it goes inward. Like this. And it goes over. Like that. And then it goes straight down. Like that. Get rid of all this. Where's the... Eh, the secret forest is right there. It needs to end, like, right here at the secret forest. So... Like, right about here is where we have the secret forest starting. So, we'll have it right about there. So, there, and there, and here. Let me jump. Eh, see, that's already one over already, too. This way instead. And we'll do it like that. That should be fine. Get rid of all of this. And the rest of this can be dirt. We'll have to get rid of some of that roofing part at some point too, but that can be later from the mountain.
So just like I'm just trying to make the border still. Because it's weird how like the borders are like really inside of each other there, so this one's gonna be an oddball kind of area. But it is what it is, so we'll just work with what we got. And there, this goes. I'm just gonna close it off right there. I don't even know if I'll entirely even use that section of it, but at least it'll give us more borders, and borders are a lot easier to deal with. That. This is open, so I'm not going to close this actually off. So this should be more like that. This part can be closed off, though. This part, it doesn't matter. Because it is the outside. The outside, outside. Let's do one more. So apparently it has to not burn in the daylight like normal zombies do. So yeah, that's another reason why I want to know like what exactly they are. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. And then we'll... Get rid of this. And add this. So in a nutshell, that's completed. I think what I'll do actually is fill this in though. Just because, oh, is there a village over there? Oh, I think it is. Cool. I don't remember if we've seen that or not already. Just so it doesn't look super hollow. We are going to fill this in. Because this is the only part that really we care about not being completely filled in. So I'm going to undo this. We'll add in our grass. And this way the wizard's tower has points. And we can add all the stuff like the trees and the bushes and all of his little knickknacks to it too. So, in essence, the wizard's tower is ready for construction. I'm gonna get rid of this one. Actually, I could have gone rid of the stairs, I suppose. So, wizard's tower, circle, sort of, like so. It's beautiful. Beautiful circle. But this whole thing needs to be completely removed also. Ugh, that part's gonna take some time. I can already tell. Okay. Next! Oh, there's pl um, villagers here. Hello! I love how they sound like pirates. Oh, so they fight at mobs? Interesting. It doesn't look like the mobs actually want to deal with them, but they are attacking the mobs. Not like that, but do you see how fast they are? You guys are terrible shots. They are literally in front of you. Oh, no, there's a, there's a village. There's the trader, I think, over here. I saw the little bubbles. I think he might be cha they might be chasing the villager. I saw the little icons for it. Oh, the zombie actually got him? Yeah, see that? I think... Yeah, it's the wandering trader. <gasps> you got him? What is wrong with you people? Jeez. Those arrows all over my fields. Dang it. Okay. Ugh. Killing me, guys. Okay. So, next is... 
I suppose this area, this area needs to be elevated with a whole section, but I don't want to bore you guys with that, so I'm probably just going to do this off, off stream like I have been with some of my other stuff. And I'll probably end up making this more of like an elevational thing so that when I do put on all the trees throughout here, that it looks a little bit more natural too. Because we can't really access very much past this. This is about as far as we can really go. Oh, I need to put in the sewer also over here. And that needs to be done. Because technically this is... I should have done up a whole nother layer. Because there are some things that are lower. Like the sewer area. Which is about here-ish. It's technically a block or so. It's a stairway down. So I should have done that. But I did not think about that till way too late. So... Oh well. It is what it is now. So I, I'll figure out some other way to do that. But... I want to see if I can at least get this part figure out. Like, where's the transition between the height of those stairs and where the bus stop is? Because I'm not actually 100% sure where that is. So let me go to that area. Actually, I should go... Eh, no, I don't... I say, this is a brand new game, so I don't have access to go from my bottom farm up from Marnie's yet because I believe there's some stones or something in the way during your first bit it's been now so long I've had I think we put in over 200 hours in our Sardew Valley session so far if I recall correctly so okay so it's just sheer cliff so it's all cliff 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 the entire way and then it literally just it, so it's cliff, and then it does the fade to black to go to that bus stop area, and then it's just flat, normal land level and fencing. So at some point, it turns from this to just fencing. Okay. So for that purpose, let's go a little bit further. And right about here, we'll we'll turn it in. Let's actually make this a little bit circular. Like this. And then we'll go... Yeah, let, let me do that, but just do that few blocks in. So, do that... And that. So let's let's do it like that. That way it feels a little bit more natural. Because we don't fade to black like Stardew Valley does. And I need there to be enough room for all of this as well. So this it makes sense if we kind of curved it out just a little bit. Because this is all cliff area. And here and here. And keep going, keep going, keep going. Because there is... It, the cliff part does actually end. Oh, the little mana rays are still here. Good for them. I probably will never sleep, dude. They're going to be here for a while. So, it's about... And those are up on another level, too, past this. So, if that's the playground... Yeah, it's going to be about here or so that we're going to be turning in. And this whole thing is going to be on the upper level. How far does this go, though, for it? So, that always answers my question. That's why I was so confused earlier about, like, where the where it stops going up versus down. is because it's a fade to black, and it's not really a natural, seamless transition between the two. So, that makes a lot more sense. So this part's going to have to be entirely filled in too. So just like I was saying earlier for the other stuff, that will be off stream so you don't have to watch the entire filling in segment. And so this part is the community center. So that goes all the way to about here is where 
Robin's stairs are, I believe. Right? Hang on. Let's go take a quick gander. Because if I can get this outlined correctly right now, that will save us a lot of time and energy later. So, it's community center. Oh, and speaking of which, there's Robin right there. Robin, what do the stairs look like to your place? Or is it even stairs at all? Because right now it's just flat land. No, it's flat land. There are no stairs. The only stair part is the cliff right above Robin's place. There's stairs. So with that being the case, Robin's house is the point. So what I should do actually is push this away since this is should be if this is up here the cliffs go right above so it's gonna be about here ish so hello mr sheep oh good you had the sense to move now bad things could have happened there for you so this goes here and it's basically surrounds robin's house the whole cliff side does. And then it's a, it's a, like a gradual elevation downward at some point though, right? No, it basically wraps itself around. But if it wraps itself around and then it goes down. Okay. So. It goes down right. No, not does not go down quite right there. It actually extends past Robin's house just a smidge and then actually we're gonna we're gonna do a nice nice movement and it's right before we made that turn is where it goes down into a nice little area right there so that means that take our blue and it goes more like that instead instead of like this so let's go and just adjust this nope let's do it like that that works better okie dokie and then that goes and loops up around back behind Robin's place. And that's going to be on a different elevation level. So that means that we need to switch this road behind Robin's house because of that elevation difference. Yeah. Okay. So let's... It's not even technically a road road either, so... Oops. Is it too... Did I have it too wide? I had it too wide. Okay. So this... I'm going to close off for right now. And this can come with me. No! Come back. It's going to be better. The more accurate we can make this, the easier it's going to be for us to complete it. So... Let's fix it while we can and while we're still thinking about it. And luckily this is just a single road too. So it's not like it has a whole lot of curves or anything. It's pretty, pretty dang straight road. We could actually, because of the fade to black too, we could probably... Oh uh, no, it's, it's, it's obviously a pretty straight road. So we can't even like turn it into this road too prevent having to do it the whole way but it is a long long road because of the extension of the whole rest of the map Ugh. that's no another kind of problem with a uh, different style of games that when your map doesn't always have to reflect the correct dimensions of things so that's what the whole fade the black stuff is useful for Get rid of this tree. 
So we will start curving into this though. Is this what side is this? Is this left side or right side? It looks like the left side, right side. So if we oops curve into that sort of kind of like that and did the same with the other side should be good okay let's get rid of this too while we're here so we're not confusing ourselves with which road is which get rid of this get rid of that get rid of that Good thing we're in creative. This would take absolutely... For Can you imagine if we were doing this in survival? This would take absolutely forever, not only for all these materials that we're putting down, but for removing and then everything. That would take so much. It would take so much. I'm so glad I decided to do this in creative instead. I did not want to torture myself with this kind of thing in survival. We're already doing the fortress in survival, so I mean, that's, yeah. And that's already taking forever, too. So, you know what, we need to go back to that at some point, too. I don't want to do this every single stream. Because I do want to finish our fortress. do like finishing my projects once I start them. To the best of my ability, at least. Sometimes there's not always helping finishing projects, but if you have the ability to do so, I like to do it. Okay, finish this one now. Yep, double aired. Ah, these big... I hate the big grass. The big grass messes me up so badly. I hear a cow. I see a cow. I only missed one, but it's okay. It's okay if we miss one. This is just supposed to be the, uh... uh not the layout, the um, draft anyways. So, it's okay. It's okay. Sweet, so now that we got that one, start diagonaling this down here. Nope, too many. There we go. So, get rid of that, 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 and that. Okay, it's a little bit bigger of a turn, but again, draft. So, that's been fixed. So now we know that this needs to somehow extend all the way to there for Robin's stuff. So we'll get rid of that. Get rid of this. So this is a higher elevation. So there are... Oops, wrong one. I'm just putting these stairs here to mark that it is a stair thing. Elevation change. Grab that. So it's going to be all the way down to it's going to be this elevation change. Ugh, that's going to be a this going to be a massive area to be doing this. This is not going to be a fun time. I can guarantee you that right now. Okay, where is it? So if this is about here, but it goes all the way behind the community center. So let's go. Let's go. Fleet past there. Where is this? Okay, so this is Robin's place. So. Yeah, it's about here. So let's. So there is some space. But not that much space. So it's going to be about there. Which means all of this. Actually, no, this does need to be here. This part just doesn't need to be filled in, though. Because this is just going to be a wall separator. So that's the nice part about that. But all of this is going to have to be filled in on the top. And all of our color blocks have to be lifted up. To lay on top of it. Is essentially what's going to have to happen with all of that. So. 
Yeah. Not 100% looking forward to that, but it should look good in the end. So, it is what it... Again, it is what it is. So, we're going to put that there and that there. So, this means that this is no longer... This is now a wall wall. So there's only two ways up, and it's by Pierre's shop and the and Harvey shop. Well, unless you want to go all the way through our house, but... Not exactly what I was talking about. Okay, so we got the stairs down there just to kind of mark. So that's going to be up. Okay. So at this point, where does this end this direction then? We have that direction basically figured out. Now it's a matter of the other way. Yeah, I'm going to have to make this up a, a higher way too. To match this. And I already made that lower. But it looks like I already have. The whole thing leveled out. So. It would make more sense. And be in my best interest if I just did it this way. This one. Oops. And. Here. And downward slope. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's fill this part in just for kicks and giggles. I think it would look better if we did it. And it'll help me visualize a little bit better too. Fill it in, fill it in. This part doesn't even necessarily need to be filled in because the top's already going to be done so, but it's okay. So yeah, that's all going to be brought up. And that wall is going to have to go up actually even more so. Because those stairs are going to go up on top of this level anyways too. So technically that doesn't need to be entirely leveled right now until we get this whole thing done. So, again, where does this go? This whole area with the water then so let's go over towards the water area on the game and figure out how this area works and where this stops and ends because honestly i don't remember and knowing our luck it's just gonna be yeah it's just a it just shows straight water down there but not like any it doesn't reflect any change of elevation, basically. So, it's just going to have to flow then. There's going to have to be some sort of mini waterfall right here to reflect that elevation change then. It's just what's going to have to happen. So, okay. And so, if that's like that the cliff looks like it ends right at that water line too so so that's about right like that but what about the other side like how does this all loop around oh okay i can't get past that area because that giant boulder's in the way all my testing big okay well I'll have to figure that out in my other, my other file. What are you guys doing down there? Are you guys drowning yourselves? Yes, you are. Weirdos. Okay. Okay, well, we can at least get this part done as far as the bridge and rest of the thingy goes. Is it really just a single... It can't really just be a single lane bridge is it i thought it was big enough because like i thought abby like will sometimes be there and you can go around her so that tells me that oh that's right okay so also along the side there oh 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 hang on hang on so i'm trying to think I'm trying to think so stairs Right there. The Mueller's house. And then it's the bridge. And it is a 
dual lane, so that's good. And then it's past there. We don't have anything completed up past here. So let me make this the way it's supposed to be. That one also goes down. Okay. So where's that brick stuff again? There you are. And go all the way across. And our slab, not our slab, our stairs. And more stairs. And then cross. And stairs. And our stuff. Like so. And it is, it does look like a single the whole way, but because the bridge isn't, I don't know what to do about that. So it basically goes straight to the Jojo Mart. There is no curving. Which means that this needs to be fixed. It needs to be able to go straight to it. So I will... Ah! Stop it. I have to fix this. I could just make it... Oh, is there... There's no change to the actual... Like, shape of the building when it turns into the... Theater... So it should be fine. Grab this. And I can always make this longer the other way too. To make up for this part. That. And because this is including uh, the parking lot too. So that's about the entrance right there. Oh, excuse me. And these are more like square block blocks compared to some of our other stuff. No, I think it's going to be closer to this still. And it's also... Oops. This is the whole way? It is the whole way. Grab these. Ooh, spider. Yeah, all the way into the parking lot, it looks like. So, put these in. Nope, I missed one. Grab that. Put that there. Grass block back. Um. Yeah, technically, and there's the movie theater sign. Well, technically it said Jojo, but let's put it right here. And so after this part down here, the river does a massive curve upward. Right? Yeah, so... It's down still on base level the whole time down here. Yeah, the whole time down here, it's at, it's at normal level. The cliffs are on the side of it, so it's like a gorge. And what happens? Like, it doesn't show what happens past the part where it goes up to Robin's place up there. Or up here-ish. So yeah, this transition, it doesn't show us this right here. So all I can do is guess. So, if we're gonna have to guess, we might as well make it fun, right? There's gonna have to be some sort of... Actually, I'll let my game go because she's about to pass out again it's almost it's, it's midnight or so on the game so I'll put that there but we're gonna go this way no wrong one 
So here, that makes a turn. I'm gonna try to reflect that turn. So get all this grass out of the way. Or dirt. Dirt and grass blocks out of the way. And then here, here. Keep the turn going. Keep the turn going. Here and here. I'm not sure how big we really need to make this turn, but I'm gonna keep keep it going. Just one more. And one more. And then we'll go back up. Back up this way. Because this is where we find, like, all those fun relics that we... Or artifacts that we have come to love and enjoy. And pull our hair out from. Oh, cool. My person's passed out. I'm literally just going through the days in this game purely from a passed out perspective at this point. Okay, so... This is about... Robin's place is up here. So it's this transition-ish piece right here that is unknown to us. So I'm going to put a blockade right here. Representing that. And this part here is where it kind of just is where the, all the artifact stuff is. So this part can keep going. Keep going, keep going. Get rid of all this because this is no longer accurate. Go away, go away, go away. Be gone, be gone with you. Be gone, be gone. Be gone. Okay. That should be fine. And so we keep going. Keep going, keep going, keep going. So we're still at our normal base level here. So yeah, there's going to be the cliffs on the side of us right over here. Where, how much further to keep going? Okay. So, I think at this point we can start curving over some more. So, let's do that. Curving, curving. And... Curve. Curve. Go up, up. Let me match this side. And... Yeah, this whole thing needs to be fixed a little bit, but... For the mean part, it is fine. Go away, tree! Be gone with you! And all your leaves. So, if we go down... I'm trying to meet up all these pieces. So, go like that. That kind of meets up with that side. And this can meet up with that in a second. Yeah, I don't, yeah, don't want to do that. Let's do... This way over here. Like that. Okay. So now those two have met up. So now it's basically like a complete thing. And so right down here, our gorge will continue. Oops, need to pause that game. Continue, continue, continue. 
So that means that this is also part of the gorge. But there is a, another staircase over here. There's also going to be another bridge over here, too. There's, oh, we don't have our stuff. So there is technically walkway along the side of these. So these actually need to be brought in just a smidge. So let's do that. And at some point, it does stop and we can't go any further. At what point can we not go any further, though? Let me check it out. Oh, it's raining on this game. Sorry, and since she passed out from the game, she's woke up back at the house. So now I've got to go all the way back to the other side of the map to where this is. If I had a guess, I would say it's about here or so that we're cut off from view and be able to progress further. But let's let's see what the actual verdict is. Yeah, also there's a little bit of a walkway right there too. So I'll have to keep that in mind. Yeah, and the stairs are like right there. So it looks like it's in the Bridge. Okay, so almost right at the transitions part to Robin's place. So right at the middle of that. So yeah, about here or so would be the cutoff from our view. So I am going to place more blocks here for representation. And there is a cliff side that we're on. And if so, if this is the representation cliff then this gets met up with that like so and here also this side is I mean technically both sides can be a little bit big but this side is a little bit skinnier on in this particular area, so I'm going to thin this one out. But then it gets bigger, so... So let's open this up a little bit more. Hello, piggy. Have you come to help? Does it... When does it thin back out? And also... Right about, I don't know, here or so is where there's another bridge. So let me get my magenta. The water I can get back later. Another bridge about there. It's just a wooden plank bridge. But it is a bridge there nonetheless. It stays pretty thick over on the right hand side for the majority of the time it looks like. But it does wobble in and out, so I do want to make sure that I'm not going too big. Go there. And this goes all the way to the Joja's area. And then the and then the outside of the Joja area is cliff. Here. Voila. Yeah, I'm still debating if I should just make it dirt or if I should do the green walls because I want to outline a lot of this in trees. So I'm thinking where there's trees, I'll do the green clay, and where it's just like cliff dirt, I'll just do the dirt blocks. Still debating it, but that's kind of where I'm leaning towards. So that means that this needs to be like some sort of waterfall or something because of the elevation difference. So there has to be some way that the water comes and goes from that area. So yeah, so right about here. Also, this is a really thin area to walk through. So I'm going to make that not very pleasant on purpose. I hate walking through there. I always get slowed down every single time. 
here, here. And so right here is more stairs. So here. And it's essentially like that. Eh, not really. It's kind of more... Yeah, closer to that. Okay. Well, I think we've got this area a little bit more under control and understood versus what we had earlier. But I was really lost with this whole second elevation area. Like how, where things were and where things weren't. So, let me get this in, just to make it a little bit easier. Okay. Much, much better. So, that also means that this trail is completely obsolete. So, let's get rid of this. There's going to be a big fenced area over here, though, because of all this. So, and the cart area is going to need some dealt with, too. Need to be handled. So, yeah, it's going to be a big area right there. But it, it is what it is. I wonder if there's a way I can shorten it. Maybe if I made the whole river shorter, but then these areas would not fall under the correct variations as well. Oh, decisions, decisions. Yeah, the mountain's gonna have to be lowered, obviously, for our area as well. And this whole thing's got to be flattened out. So, there is that. Plus, this needs to be dealt with. Because there's that bus um, area over here. Uh. Ah, lemonade. So let me look real fast. Let me go, yeah, let's go over towards the bus area and see, see what's going on with the elevation over there. Like where are the cliffs and where aren't the cliffs? Because if we can get that at least outlined too, because I know that the road in the north up there, that's going to be on the third elevation. Right? I believe it has to be the third elevation level. So the bus area is... It's just nothing but trees over there, but it does show an elevation difference. So it's about here or so that it shows cliff. Cliff, 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 cliff. And then it goes inward. Like, maybe about that. Actually, no, it just goes maybe just like in one like that. And then up again. And then again, it goes in for a little bit. And then it kind of disappears back there, so I can only guess that the pattern remains and all the way through. Let's get this part. And it does look like with the, uh, the cart right there, there is another elevation incline right towards this edge. So... So yeah, the road's going to be like right here, so then it's going to be a big road. It's going to be up to about here or so. It's going to be a big bus. I'm going to make an actual bus. And then the, right along the road though, going this direction, up here or so. Move tree. Oh my goodness, these trees. 
done with you. So I'm trying. I'm just trying to figure out exactly how we're gonna end up doing this. So I guess the elevation starts again, maybe about here or so. It'll be kind of like that. Ish. Because there's nothing back here that you can actually see in the game. So that's... Like, am I as far north as I possibly can be? Yeah, that's as far as it's showing me. Because this is where the entrance to the tunnel is, I believe. This is how we get there. So... Mr. Paper, can I help you? So we can only assume that this goes inward more. And... Let's go down here. I see, it says... It shows an elevation increase over here. But then it goes right back to fencing instead in the back and this stuff's all in the back back. So Yeah, I guess we'll just continue it then. This tree. Go away. Lots of trees. And this goes for quite a bit. And uh, I don't know. I think I don't know how much further to really go. Cause here's the edge for our farm right here. But it's behind the farm, so we can't really see this at all. So let's go a little bit further. It's because it is a kind of a long road. And we can actually see this from this part right here. This is the part we sh should be able to see from. Yeah, so the tunnel to this should be about here. So let's do a nice little archway represents where the tunnel should be. And if that's the case, then this is off by a little bit. Hmm. So, we'll have to bring a bunch of this inward then. Yeah, we're going to have to bring this in. So, the tunnel we should want about, actually, probably about here or so. Because we're going to want the tunnel. So I can keep going over here then. Just because that yeah, that whole area is long. It's a long area. So and the fact that it can be seen from this road. So that's where we want the tunnel. This can all go away. This tree can definitely go away. And it basically shows it going inward too at some point. It's something like that, and then the bus can probably be just moved over. But, let's skip you over a bit. We have the other part. Like that. Actually, it's, it's going to have to be bigger than that, to be honest. Because of the whole area. It's a big area, so, I mean... So, let's put this right up against where our farm area is going to be. 
It's starting to get hard to see the, the differences between the grasses now. Oh, super flowers. All the way down. This is going to have to be moved over. So for right now, we'll just make it a straight line. Straight line, straight line. Go away. This can all go. Yep, just like that. Oops, wrong one. My bad. Bring it all the way down. Because this will also separate and put that wall in there from our area. So this makes sense. Sort of. Kind of, at least. To me, it makes m the most minimal sense needed to operate. And keep going. Me and that tree are going to have a problem. I can see it already. Okay, so if we have that part sectioned off... Um, basically, down over here, it is, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, okay, it's about like right here, so, that is clipped again. Oops, sorry, box. And then there's just fencing along the cliff side. And then it fades to black to go to our house. And there's no cliff anymore. It's all just open fields behind us. So that, that is a bit difficult. So you have to imagine that it just kind of goes up and down, up and down for cliffs. So what we can do is we can put a bunch of this behind our farm to at least hopefully mimic a lot of trees and stuff behind the area. Something to that effect at least. Hmm. Yeah, because it's all supposed to be, like, fencing and stuff over here. Let me make sure I got this part correct. It's all fence, all fence. All fence. It is straight from along the edge, though. Along the edge is the cliff. So, yeah, this part needs to come down like that. Yeah, absolutely. So this whole part needs to come down. So this needs to be buried a little bit more. And then this keeps going like that. Keep going. Yep. Yep, 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 like that. And it's going to be about there, so. Or maybe even there. That we're going to go down. And we'll just bury this, basically. Oh, look, bones. Here. And here. So like that. And so this will be all fencing and whatnot over here. And this will have to be all flattened out and the road all the way down there. This will have to be the trees and more fencing. Goodness, goodness, goodness. There is a lot to do. I haven't even touched the interior of a lot of these houses. A lot of these haven't even been done yet. 
But I'm excited. I, I'm really curious to see exactly how close we're going to be able to get to complete accuracy. Like, I know... I, I'm pretty certain that it's we're not going to be able to get 100% accurate. I, I already know that. Unless we have some really specific mods to help us out with some of this stuff. It's not really going to happen. So... We're just going to have to see how close we can get instead. Here. 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 Much, much better. Yeah, see, that's all part of the house, too. Our farm area. So that needs to be fixed now that we know that this needs to line up with our pathway out in the north a little bit better. Since it was a little off earlier. I just want to fill this in just a little bit more. See how much better we can get. Okay, that's fine for now. Not much better, see? Much, much better. So this whole thing should be filled in. And so we know that... So the pathway is going to be about here, so... I need, to, I need level ground. I need very level ground. I don't even know what level the ground is supposed to be over here. And I, I don't remember... I don't have a reference for just how low to go. So let's do this. And so if the... I, I think the farm needs to actually be curved a little bit where we have strained it out. So with that in mind... I'll have to uh, straight it back out when, I mean, um, curve it back out when we get the rest of the farm kind of situated with another rough draft. Um, where is it? There's that part. It goes up and out. Let me go do this. And this can go up like that. Or something to that effect. This is where the train will be, where we can see it. Yeah, that whole thing needs to be fixed so badly. It's like, I think that's the worst part right now is just that spot of our farm on the mountaintop with the sheep. But we at least got the elevations kind of figured out too. So we know that this whole thing is going to be up higher too is going to be on this next row but this next row is going to be on top of this whole row so it's going to be much higher so when we're down here we should be able to see like things up higher and higher which will be kind of cool actually other than that this part needs to be filled in too and now that we got at least minorly figured out for the I, I think it is gonna have to be a waterfall i'm still pretty confident in that that's how else do you get the water up and down so i'm pretty sure it's um runoff from the mountains coming into that lake and flowing down here into the ocean i'm pretty sure that's the direction in which the water is trying to flow anyways in the game so that should be that should be good. And water flows from up there, so going to do this. Nope, not gonna do that. But uh where's our water bucket? Water bucket, there you are. It'll be far easier to do the water when there's only one block high, so. We'll do that now. Up and over. More up and over. Yes, yeah, fill our water. Cool. Much, much better. So we can actually now go ahead and make this a little bit deeper. Make it more river-like. Who doesn't like river-like stuff? 
right? Especially when it's actually trying to be a river. Keep going, keep going, keep going. I love how the grass block actually still stays grass underwater. I wonder if I should make that a little bit thicker right there. That seemed a little too thin. Eh. Well, I'll reference the actual map and see if it's needed or not. One more level just to match the rest of this. Ooh, I can try to put a bunch of, like, seaweed and stuff down here because there's always so much freaking algae that you can fish up. That would be fun. I think that's a good idea. Even better if I can put some, like, treasure chests in there and see if I can find some sort of artifact-like stuff. That'd be fun, too. But you can already fish up artifact stuff, like treasures and stuff like that, in actual Minecraft, so... I don't think it's actually really necessary. Okay. That part's done. So, I think the next time we stream this, it will be time to actually start with the houses. I'm going to try off stream to do the elevation stuff and continue flattening out the place and see if I can add more of these borders to it too so that when we get like start off in our in this place, it actually is like what we can see in the game is what we can see in here. So I think that would be fun. And at some point, we'll have to actually do, like, the mines and stuff like that, too. And all the levels included, which is going to be fun. But we still have a bit of a list. Just, just a little bit of a list. Ooh, the minecart. Where's the minecart go in this? Let me, let me see where the minecart goes over in the bus stop area. Where do you go? Tell me. Tell me your secrets. It is literally just straight up. Okay. Love it. I love it when it's just simple like that. So, put that there. Take this back. So, it's about here. Ish. Let's say about here, yeah. And it goes just straight back. Just straight back. Cool. Where are all the other mine carts? The other mine carts are like in the quarry, which we haven't even touched today. Yeah, I'm just I, I don't want to really start on anything on the third level until we're done with the second one. Cause I don't know how high to make it yet. So until this is all filled in, don't really know what to do with that. This is going to be cool, though. So once this is actually done, this will be cool. Now, since this stuff, yeah, this is all coming up. Let me actually get rid of these trees now so I'm not dealing with them later. Zombies, can I employ you to get rid of some of these trees? Is that possible? I just, actually, no, I was going to say I'll hand you some flint and steel and you set fire to the trees but no they will set fire actually to the wool and so all of our oh you're hiding there so all of our drafting points are going to be completely burned down so that would also be a terrible idea but where are some of these other trees if I can yeah like this one this one's definitely got to go a little tree. And this one. And this one. I think the trees up there are fine. I don't think those really need to be dealt with. We could put our planks down. Our wooden plank bridge. Um, it's purely just straight across, too, just like the other ones. Ooh, I wonder if... 
what does the bridge look like? I think it's just... Hmm. I wonder if we just use spruce again. Like we have for the stairs. I believe it's about the same color. Let me check on that. <laughs> no, not that bridge. The bridge up north. Let's see what its status is. So it is a what? Just a normal. It's a wooden plank though, so we don't really have anything that's quite like that. Like I know we have like actual like. They're called planks, but it's like spaced planks. So how do we deal with that? I'm almost thinking to do... It's about the same color as spruce again, so... Think about just doing a slab over it, but then the water's going to be all funky with it. So maybe we do just... Hmm. Interesting. Maybe we do just do a normal one. So, will you? How badly would the water mess with this? Actually, it doesn't. So, yeah, I'm just going to do that then. About there. And there. Voila! All is well. That's a, it's just it's a single one anyway, so that works out. Cool. And technically, all this is um, dirt. All dirt path up here. So let me see. Where does the grass start again? On the opposite side, it doesn't look like it does at all. Well, the weird, odd word. Oh, excuse me. Okay, so on the other side, oops, so on this side, from the bridge onward, so about here, move grass, about there, and it's all along there. So let's get, let's just do all of this. I don't want to use like, do we even have like technical actual dirt that even matches this color? Like sand is the closest thing, but I don't want to use sand. Sand's not the right one to use. Um, Wood's not the right thing to use either. Sandstone isn't the right thing to use, but at least it's closer. I'm sure it's like more of a dirt dirt instead of like a dark dirt. Like something more between this yellow and white terracotta, like if you mix those two. Something of that kind of color. Not great. But not, not the right colors I'm looking for either. Hmm. <laughs> And stone. Not not that either, but I was kind of curious. <laughs> yeah, I think, honestly, doing what we're doing is probably the only thing we're going to be able to do for a little bit. And I think this should be opened up a little bit as well. Oops. I am opening way too many things. Close you, close you, close you. I think right here there is more space technically. Let's check it out. Like right there, there's not, so that's fine. But yeah, there is there is more space for this, so let's open this up a little bit. Open that up. And then open this. And open this a little bit further, actually. This does get a little bit bigger. So. That. And 
plants here and here. Okay, that should be that should be good. Now certify it. Dirt this is all dirt here as well. And I keep saying even though I know it's not technically dirt that I'm using, but oh well. Okay, it's actually I'm gonna make that a brick. Sandstones, whatever. Okay, that part's good. So on this side, it's all quote unquote dirt. Except for the little piece in the back there that excuse me, it has to be opened up. And right along the sign is grass. And then this walkway too, and then there's some more dirt there. So what I should do actually is make the sign probably a little bit smaller. Make that about there. And then this goes around. This can all move. This can all move. Use up this. I think this should be enough space around the sign. And then around this part too is grass. Oh no! And then up here and over it's all dirt yeah unfortunately this color is really the only thing that's really working so far so i'm really curious about doing like texture packs and seeing about what we can change things out for to make it look a little bit better And what about behind this? Technically, there is space behind. There's like a little bit of a garden-like area or something back here. That has that weird box in it that I'm not sure what it is for. Keep going, keep going, keep going. And then we can enclose this off too. There you go, perfect. This and this, nope. And here, oops. Actually, it should not have gone up that high, but. At the same time, I should go up this high. Actually, no, it's all leveled out over there, so this is going to be too high then. Unless I go all the way around with it, but... Regardless, it is good that way. And this is the area in which that little garden thing's going to be, and there's no dirt back here, so... That can stay as is. Here, clean this up. And that part is fine. This part definitely needs to be closed off. So many droppings everywhere. Chicken eggs and rotten flesh, bones, everything. Okay, so I think... This is basically as much damage as we can do on the stream until I can get things cleaned up a little bit more. And then we can start working on houses and finalizing the actual layout. And then once that's done, we basically just start decorating things in at that point. Adding stuff like trees and whatnot in. And then we should be good, but that all that stuff does include, like... I was mentioning the mine shaft and everything too, the desert, 
and all that so it is does include a lot so it's not going to be exactly that simple but it at least gives us a direction to head in so i think with that we're going to end the stream i know it's four minutes early but that's perfectly fine uh, it's not going to be exactly every time but we did a lot today. We got a lot accomplished, and so we have a lot more to go. So I appreciate you sticking with me. Let me see if I can send you all to another person. I need to learn how to do the raids a little bit better. So great practice, right? So let's send you to somebody. Is there anyone doing fun stuff? Anyone doing fun stuff? There's a lot of people playing Minecraft right now, too. Um, so there's someone doing a fun modded one. I can send you there. Or make house for a cartographer. That was fun. Um... Yeah, let's uh, send you to the modded one. So let me go grab them. Put you in. Cool. Rage start any second now. Cool. Say hello to them. Okay, and I think with that, we are going to end the stream. So thank you again, guys. We'll catch you later.